We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts update. USDA reported hay prices continue to slide into the new year. December reported alfalfa hay prices lost another dollar to $187 per ton. The value for other hay remained at market year lows of $135 per ton. The net result was a monthly USDA all hay price at $168. Based on the hay seasonal prices will likely be cheaper in January before moving higher into spring. The seasonal decline has been lengthier in the 2013-2014 marketing year due to the extremely tight on-farm stocks and higher price levels to start out the calendar year. Mother Nature allowed for much more favorable production from spring through fall and producers responded to the economic signals. The result was the largest hay production number in three years. The recent USDA crop production report showed 2013 U.S. hay production at nearly 136 million tons. That resulted in an average U.S. yield of around 2.3 tons per acre on what was the largest number of harvested acres since 2010. At first glance, these numbers suggest even weaker hay prices are ahead. However, it's important to realize the hay segment is coming out of a marketing year that produced the smallest amount of on-farm stocks since the 1950s. December 1st, on-farm stocks came in at 89 million tons. That represents a 17% improvement compared to last year. However, it's still 10% below the most recent 10-year average. Looking ahead, Cattlefax believes cheaper corn prices will limit significant hay price increases. However, soybeans and soybean meal prices remain elevated, and that will keep alfalfa and other high-protein feed sources better supported at the winter lows. Demand also peaks during the late winter months, and this year is no exception. We are likely experiencing the price lows for the hay marketing year now. Cattle producers needing additional feed inventory should consider purchasing feedstuffs ahead of the seasonal demand increases and upcoming severe winter weather. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Lance Zimmerman. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.